I saw normalized indoor pass-by testing in 2016 to help the uh, automotive industry as uh, meeting the pass-by noise requirements became uh, more difficult to meet. The benefit of indoor is uh, you can control the air environment. Uh, right now, uh, this room, you know, we're in Michigan, all right? Outside, it's 30 degrees. Last week, we were covered in snow. Testing indoor, you're in full control. You don't have to adapt to changing weather conditions or background noise and the tests are very repeatable, and so are the results. Testing outdoors can be very time consuming, as the driver has to meet a certain target speed at a target location on the track, and he has to acquire multiple runs for um, several conditions and gears. And this can be very time consuming even for a professional driver. Doing the same indoor is much easier, as we can trim the run to reach the uh, uh, right speed at the right location on a virtual track. With indoor, we can test year round. We can test 24 hours a day. We don't have to worry about background noise. We can do quick uh, part changes just right here on the vehicle because roll in the toolbox, change tires, do whatever we need to do. And once a data set is available, we can also use it in a combination with uh, CAE simulation data to evaluate this time the effect of uh, virtual design changes, really opening the door to um, uh, real uh, pass-by noise engineering during vehicle development. And now it's uh, even possible to use um, indoor testing for uh, vehicle homologation. And that proves, if it's still needed, that uh, indoor pass-by testing is totally valid and will give you very valuable results.